Do you have one of these electric metal casting furnaces? Uh, you might have a problem coming up. I did. I'll show you what happened, uh, what I think caused it, and what you can do to prevent it from happening. Okay, so what happened? Well, I was melting a bunch of bronze grain in this two kilogram crucible. As you can see, the crucible had a little bit of a problem. I, I, would, I would say that, wouldn't you? It broke when the bronze was almost all molten and just spilled it into the bottom, down in that dark hole. It shorted out all those exposed elements and tripped the GFI. Massive bummer, because this furnace works super well, but nothing works super well when it's full of molten bronze, am I right? I mean, I certainly wouldn't. See all that? I'm gonna have to retrieve that. Okay, so that was a bummer. Uh, so what happened? Well, this is a cru two kilogram crucible, was. It was a two kilogram crucible. Uh, I had placed the casting grain in it when it was cold, and I slowly heated it up. I was heating it up to melting temperature. Uh, slowly, over like 45 minutes or so. It was probably 45 minutes in when this happened. Uh, this was the first time using this crucible. And my only indication that there's a problem is when, uh, apparently when it shorted out and it suddenly tripped the GFI, you know, cutting power to everything, including my garage fridge. Which, that, that wasn't fun. So, what causes this thing to break? Well, it turns out there's a lot of reasons why. Reason number one, overuse. These things have a use life on them. Anything at bronze temperature really is, is expendable. That goes for furnaces, those big honking crucibles, you know, heating elements in like a kiln, all these kilns back there, they're up that hot. Uh, everything is expendable at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, let me tell you. And heat is bad enough, but I've heard, I've read that these, these graphite crucibles, the carbon in them, actually like reacts with the oxygen in the air when it's that hot and it creates an, a reducing atmosphere inside the crucible. I don't know if that's true. It makes sense because it seems like they're like eroding away as they're, as they're being used. A reducing atmosphere is kind of nice. It stops your bronze from, from oxidizing really bad and copper alloys are, are really bad for that. But it also means you're like literally losing crucible to the air while you're running it. Here's the first three kilogram crucible I got and I have since stopped using it. It's super worn out. It looks awful. It's pretty thin in places and I'm kind of afraid I'm gonna like crush it with the tongs. I have used this a lot and it has always been at bronze temperature, like maxing the furnace out. It's, it, it looks pretty bad. It's not broken, but I probably shouldn't use it anymore. This two kilogram crucible broke on its maiden voyage, so to speak, so it's not that. Second, when metal's in there and heats up, metal expands. Things expand when they heat up. Well, metal will expand more than the crucible. And let's say you like you got like a cylinder that was like a perfect fit to the inside of the crucible, stuck it in there, stuck it in the furnace, heated it up. Well, before the metal melts, it's going to expand and it can break the walls out. I'm not going to put in a cylinder perfectly fit there, but I put in chunks where I like kind of had to wedge it in there. And I always thought that was kind of risky. I have since heard that it is possible to break the crucibles from the inside like that. I was using grain, you know, a little like sand grain of the metal, so it's probably not that. Unless like maybe it had like sintered together. And then as it was heating up, it expanded and broke. I might be reaching here. Maybe it was too full. Because if you've seen like when they're heating up, right? If you've ever pulled one of these out hot, that part's red hot and this part isn't. So we have differential heating there. And I, I believe I did have it filled up more than, more than where the part gets red hot. So that part could be my fault. I could have overfilled it. Careful. I, I honestly didn't measure how much bronze I put in there. It could have been too much. Third thing. Thermal shock. Thermal shock can screw up pretty much anything. You don't want to heat the furnace up to white hot and then stick a cold crucible in there or heat the, the crucible up to like white hot and then drop a bunch of metal in there. Like the thermal shock can like really screw things up. This goes for everything, but I never do that. Ever since like the old charcoal days, I would take the crucible, take the metal all at room temperature, put it together, put it in the furnace and then slowly heat everything up. That's the way I've always done it. That's the way I'll continue to do it because that way there's no thermal shock. Fourth? Am I up to four now? Maybe the crucible got bumped. These things are not very tough. I've heard from a couple of you that have had crucible failures with these. I've talked to one of you a lot about multiple failures and that guy mentioned a couple of times that maybe he, he bumped the, he think he slammed it into the thermocouple in there when he was loading the crucible in or, or taking like chunks of metal and dropping it in. There's like a drop and it hits the bottom. He suspects that might have contributed to it. I did not drop huge chunks into this crucible and I am usually fairly careful not hitting that, that thermocouple, especially since this crucible is a little smaller, it's a little easier to avoid it. But he might be onto something there. So I store these crucibles on the ground, kind of under a shelf back here because I don't have a shelf or whatever space at the moment. The concrete ground, we'll get to that in a second. And I set them upright. But you know, there are cables around there 
and now and then I find a couple of them laying down. Maybe I knocked this one over before I used it. That is possible. And in fact, going and checking right now, that's not good. Should probably put that back together too, huh? There are three of them laying on the ground. Huh. Also, about that concrete. So there's a problem with storing things on concrete. Even dry concrete isn't dry. There's like moisture trap in there. And letting things sit on top of the concrete can make them absorb water up through the base. I have actually seen this happen in this garage. Now this is a crucible I've used a bunch of times. So it's been like definitely hot enough to drive the water out. I usually pour like 500 Celsius with that stuff. After the last time I used it, I put it over on the ground because it's a really big crucible and I don't want to put it on a shelf that it can fall off. Where did the water come from? I didn't spill any water on it. It doesn't rain inside my enclosed garage. It absorbed it up through the concrete. These graphite ones are on the concrete floor too. Guess I shouldn't do that anymore. So a steam explosion didn't blow this thing up. It was already melting bronze. Like it was up to glowing hot and the bronze was turning liquid. All of the water would have been long gone. But when it was heating up, if there was water in there and it boiled faster than it could like off gas through the graphite, it can cause little fractures, little cracks or like pops in the surface. Okay, so how can I, and by extension you, prevent this problem in the future? A uh, couple things. First, keep the crucibles up off the floor, off the concrete, not knocking into each other. Sitting somewhere, they're not going to tip over, they're not going to take any knocks. I will have to arrange some kind of shelf situation for this in my garage. Second, don't be clumsy handling the things. Third, don't overfill them. This bronze stuff is super heavy. Even if it didn't break because it was trying to heat up too much at once, that's a lot of weight. And these things are being held up by that top ring. So red hot carbon is holding the weight of all of that molten bronze. There's probably a limit. I thought the limit was full to the brim. I might be wrong there. Fourth, keep track of how many times a crucible has been used. If it starts looking real bad, uh, don't use it again. I don't have a hard and fast rule for this one. I can't find a hard and fast rule anyway, but I've heard from some people who do like gold casting, which is super high temperature. Uh, they're only getting like four, four or five melts before they start getting real nervous. Now they have a bigger issue if they, if there's breaks, they can lose a lot of gold. Bronze is cheap, fortunately, at least compared to gold it is. I suspect if you're melting the ZA-12, you probably have a lot more melts in it. Do one crucible full of molten bronze and you can tell the crucible looks different. I've done multiple ZA-12 melts in one crucible, this one, and I can't tell that it's been used. It still looks pretty new. I didn't clean it out very well, so there's that, but otherwise it looks fine. I don't know what the limit is, but this melts, this pours at like 500 Celsius. Bronze is much hotter. 500 is not 1100. That's a big difference. And last, if you suspect at all that there might be some moisture in there, uh, you might want to do something called candling. This is a pottery thing. If you have a cup or whatever and you want to fire it but it's not dry enough and you don't want to wait the five days it's going to take, you throw in a kiln, you heat it up to like close to boiling temperature, like 200 Fahrenheit, and you leave it there for like four or five hours. Okay, you can do this in your oven too in your kitchen. These might be able to do that, but I would do it with an oven, crack the door open to allow the moisture out. Fortunately, I emailed Vivor, told him what happened, sent him some pictures. They asked uh, like if I was heating it up from cold. I said yes. I sent them a picture of the serial number and they said okay cool and they sent me a new one. So good to know the warranty works. They put the support email right on the front. There might be a reason for that. Anyways, the new one's in a box over here uh, ready to go and I'm going to be much more careful with these crucibles now because this furnace was working perfectly until this happened.